Hello, Armada120 here. I am making a remake video of my about four or five month old how to install Minecraft mods video. Uh, this will be a little bit more useful, a little bit more in depth, a little bit more helpful, and it will be Lion compatible. As you can see, I am using the default Lion background for two reasons. One, I never changed it. So it's already there. This is my and this is my second monitor, which is a cleaner of my desktops. I'll just cover this up and print like it's not here. Okay, anyway. Okay, so to start, you need to install Minecraft, obviously. Once you have Minecraft installed, you're going to need to locate your library folder. And you must have installed my you have must have ran Minecraft at least once for this to work. Uh, to get your library folder, it's gonna be somewhat if you're not online, you can just go to um your name your username and it will be in here like all the rest of these but unfortunately Apple's kind of jerk so if they are um, if you are in Lion you just need to do a quick search for the library uh, usually you want to make sure you're on this Mac usually I find it easier than this actually go to all my files first that usually will help and then go to a lot and see there it is it disappeared because that's what it does there it is again snag it so what you can do once you have that you can double click on the folder icon up here and put it right here I already have it and that way you'll never lose it again you can also put it in your dock I don't have a dock on this monitor but if I had a dock I could put it on this monitor I could put it there so I could put it down here in the dock if I had it on this monitor um, so once you have that open, you're going to go to application support and then find Minecraft on the list. Once you're in Minecraft, all these folders do something. And they can help you reset certain things without resetting everything. You want a fresh copy of like Minecraft, if you want to like uninstall all mods you have, just delete the bin. You want to delete your saves, delete this. this. Want to restart your stats and achievements? Delete that. Uh, want to delete all texture packs you have? Delete that. And I'm not sure resources. What's in resources? So once you're in here, you want to go to bin, and then you're going to need to open the Minecraft.jar somehow. If you're not on if you're on a previous version of Mac OS X, aka not Lion, you can go just to archive utility, and it'll open up. Unfortunately, on Lion, you get this. If you're not on Lion, you can avoid these, this step because you because you will have an un, you will just have a folder right now. So, what you need to do is you need to get a diff a second a program for somewhere else. You can either get the Unarchiver, which is essentially the same thing as Archive Utility except more useful. It's found on the Mac App Store, or you can use Zippeg. Uh, you have to download it from the internet. Um, you have a little bit more control. You can choose where it unzips to, and you can see what's in the file. What's in it before? You can see what's in the zipped file before decompressing. So, if you want more control, go for Zipeg. If you want just something quick and easy, go to the Unarchiver. They're both cheap. Um, the, I've had Zipeg open up a 7-zip file, so it is great for any file you may encounter. So. If you're online, just get the Unarchiver off the App Store. It's one of the top free. So, Unarchive, it'll be real quick, and you'll have this. I think I've already done this. Yes, I have. I anyway, don't need this one. So, once you have here, what you want to do is save this somewhere and rename this. Want to go over, click on it, press enter, and get to the end and just add it, name it Minecraft.jar. And make sure you hit add. And now it is your .jar file, easy to edit and all that. So now you can go in there. First thing you want to do is delete the meta in folder, which is under M. It should be pretty fine because it is a folder. There's not many. So you take the meta in. I haven't deleted it. Yeah. If you take this, get rid of it. I just trashed it, by the way. You don't want that. That's what's going to stop you from modding. If you forget to do that, you will not be you will you will black screen, guaranteed. Okay, so once you've done that, 
you just drag them files over and put them in here. Depending on the mod, they might have a readme that would be helpful. Sometimes they use files that are already in here and you want to... The way those usually work is... This isn't going to help. Anyway, let me go to this view. The way those usually work... If you go to this view right here, the uh, one column view, you can hit kind, then you just need to find folders. If they match any of these, you're going to need to open up the folder and if and open up the folder in the mod you downloaded. I don't think I have any examples right now. And once you have that open, you must match if it has like, let's say it was in mob. You open up mob and oh, there's no other folder, so that's easy. Let's say if it's in GUI. It's again easy. Or is one that's not easy. Uh, I know Pulse Code is it. So this is usually for audio. Like if you're adding in um, some audio mod. If you go see, it's probably going to say Pulse Code. It's going to be a folder in from the mod that says Pulse Code. Then there'll be one that says Sound. You want to open up there and open it up in here. And it might be like Codex. And you have to open up Codex. And once I get to a place where there's no more folders, like let's say it didn't have Codex and it was just files, then you just put it in here with everything else. So that's how that works. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. If you plan on modding a lot, I recommend doing the same thing that you did with the library folder with the Minecraft.jar. You can just double click on the folder, put it up here, put it in your dock. Uh, saves a lot of time, you don't have to look for it. And you do not need to re-zip the file at all. So you can just leave it as of that. And you'll be good to go. Remember how to get here in case you get a new copy of Minecraft. I mean, that would probably still work. You can even change your options in here, like you mess something up really badly and you can't get in game. Just change it in here. Uh, yeah, that easy. These are just stats for every account you've played on. And that's pretty much wraps it up. Hope you didn't help this. You've enjoyed this video and this has helped you. If it's helped you, leave a like. Uh, if you need more help, just leave a comment. I reply to all comments. It's one advantage of being a small YouTuber. So it should be pretty easy to get a hold of me. And if you like gaming-related content, uh, feel free to subscribe. I am become starting to post more regularly. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been Armada120, and I hope I've helped.